Welcome to Vocab Wednesdays, and I am Chris with Magoosh. Today's theme is simply words from the official guide. I know it's not the most interesting theme in the world, but these words are... Hello, and welcome to GRE's Vocabulary Wednesday with Chris of Magoosh. And today we have our... Oops! I dropped our first word. How clumsy or... How maladroit of me. Maladroit means clumsy, bungling, dropping stuff. Now, if you know the word adroit, which means skillful, you're good with your hands, you don't drop things, and you know your, your Latin roots, mal means bad, you can see how this word means the exact opposite of skillful, that it means clumsy. So good word to know, and if you didn't know adroit, great, it's a two for one, because adroit means skillful, maladroit is the opposite. Now, that was awkward, me dropping the board. Let's see, what can I do here in terms of a gaff? Well, actually, a gaffe is something I'm not going to pull. It's usually something that embarrasses the person who says something that's socially inappropriate. So don't worry, no socially inappropriate material here. However, Barack Obama, our president, that is the president of the U.S., is usually kind of a button-down guy measured in his responses. And it's kind of hard to get him on stuff sometimes. But he was once on The Tonight Show, and I guess he was making fun of his own bowling game. He's not a very good bowler. And he said... Oh, wow, when I bowl, it's like the Special Olympics. Now, that's very insensitive to say, because basically you're making fun of people who are mentally, mentally handicapped. And so Obama made a major gaffe. That is a social blunder. He apologized to the chairman of the Special Olympics Committee. But the idea with gaffe here is that it's any blunder socially. So a person who says it almost bites her lips afterwards, blushes, and thinks to themselves, Oh, my God, I can't believe that just came out of my mouth. Speaking of which, what about someone who's habitually making inappropriate comments and just saying the wrong stuff for the situation? Well, we have a perfect word, also from French. That word is gauche. Now, gauche is a great word because it actually means on the left-hand side. Where's my left hand? There it is. Ooh, that was kind of maladroit just now, but here we go. There's my left hand. A droit means on the right-hand side in French. Remember, Right? That's skillful. So guess what left or gauche means? It means unskillful, but more specifically, it means socially awkward, lacking grace. You're always saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. You don't know the proper way to dress given the occasion, etc. So next time you see someone who, or who you hear somebody saying something that's kind of tactless, and they tend to do it over and over again, you can say, oh my gosh, I can't believe they said that. Okay, one bad word pun, that's it for today. And finally... Solicism. Scary word. Definitely the hardest word. Definitely the word that's least likely of the bunch to show up on the GRE. Solicism can on one level mean a breach of propriety or the social etiquette. For instance, a common solicism is when you go to someone's house, usually for dinner or for, for if somebody invites you over, you want to bring something with you. You don't really want to come empty-handed. So when my wife and I go to someone's house, usually you know, we'll bring some cheese, we'll bring up some beverages, but... You don't want to show up empty-handed. If you do, of course, the other people probably aren't going to say something. They're not going to be that gauche. But if you do, you've committed a solecism. Now, another definition of solecism can also mean a grammatical lapse. That means you use the improper grammar. So there's so many times where people say, when they're counting things, like, oh, there are 10 people there, and there's 20 people here, so there are less people here. It's actually fewer people. That's one of those, you know nitpicky, pedantic things, but nonetheless, if someone makes a grammatical mistake, they are guilty of a solecism as well. So two definitions for this word. Hopefully no solecism in anything I just said, and 